cow. Oh, cow. Mm, cow. Oh, can't hit targets, can I? Not eating targets, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry. Is something bothering you, bullet head? Gaff! Bloody Ms. Jackson from the brewery. She's never pulled a pint in her life. She says I'm not hitting projected sales targets. That's true. Crosby, shut your face! <laughs> ah! My old man's face! <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa. If she wants to give me targets, then she should give me some targets worth hitting. Like our archers had in 1415 at the Battle of Agincourt. <laughs> but I'll show her... <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, put this up with you, Steve. <laughs> you see, the problem with Ms Jackson and her cronies is they don't know what real people want from a real night out, do they? Because they never think to ask them. They never think to listen to what they actually have to say. I mean, what do people really want from a night out, eh? Come on, Terry. Sex. Sex. <laughs> Sex. No, you're wrong. Still, it's been a year. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what they want is a right good laugh. Yeah? Yeah? And so, step aside, Crosby. Three drinks for all customers over 80 years old. Now you're talking! No, no, wait, wait. Read the small print. <laughs> Provided they are accompanied by both parents. <laughs> <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we're surprised by the landlord's initial generosity until our attention is drawn to the nullifying addendum. And thence the humour arises. <laughs> it's not funny, Puffhead. That's fucking shocking. No, 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 don't you see? Anyone over 80, both their parents will be dead. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Mama, Papa, why did you leave me? Snap out of it. It's just a joke. Well, it's not funny. I didn't fight in World War II, admittedly. <laughs> I had a bad foot and I couldn't go. But I know a lot of people who did fight, and I've had to listen to them going on about it endlessly for the past 55 years. So I think I deserve a bit of respect. Oh, I've got nothing but respect for you and your generation, Grandad. I mean, they didn't backpack around Europe when they was 18, did they? No, they destroyed Europe when they was 18. <laughs> yeah, and took a bloody good pop at Japan too while they was at it. <laughs> that you deserve an ending gratitude. And maybe a generous government grant to go and give it another go. Yeah, you finish the job properly this time. Don't patronise me. If that stays up, I'm going to take my drinking money elsewhere. Oh, dear, what a pity. Never mind. <laughs> I'll make you pay for this. You see if I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, you and whose army, you stupid old git. Oh, nice work, Stubble Bonds. That amusing sign's doing wonders for business. They say, don't they, Janet, that each and every one of us, there's a book waiting to be written. Hmm? What's yours? The bumper book of mouthy cows? <laughs> <laughs> Accompanied by both parents. Oh, <laughs> oh morning, bullet head. Gav. Well, your sign worked. The place is packed. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Have some patience, love. Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? Though that was the builder's original estimate. <laughs> Imagine that, being a builder and Italian. How unreliable can one person be? <laughs> And after all this time, Rome still isn't finished. Have you seen that Colosseum? They still haven't put the sodding windows in. <laughs> Spivers! Oh, look! It's a friendly neighbourhood postman. Cheeky. Hey, Posty. Bet you like a laugh, don't you? Oh, yeah. I rarely stop. That's what I thought. <laughs> look at our new funny sign. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, spare my aching sides. I know, I've been laughing all night. I love funny signs. Oh. Hello. Don't rack off your sarky, cocky, beanface, no hoper. <laughs> beanface? Yeah, you've got a face that's shaped like a bean. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you do that for? He's a great bloke. No, he isn't, Sherbert Nuts. I don't like it. Saki runs constantly ripping the piss out of you, and that's my job. That's just his way. He happens to be my best mate in the world. Yeah. Now that I won't argue with. Bill. 
Bill. Bill. Mm. Can't hit target. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, hello, sir. <laughs> A new customer. We should like our free drinks, please. Aye. Free drinks for all customers over eight years old when accompanied by both parents. Yeah, yeah, that's very funny. I, Here's but... our paperwork. I think you'll find that's all in order. Got you fair and square. Such a display does constitute a legally binding contract. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Data. Need gin and tonics, please. Large ones. <laughs> that amusing sign's doing wonders for business. Oh, I'm not bothered. I can make a joke, but I can take a joke. <laughs> After all, this is only going to be a one-off, isn't it? <laughs> you see, the problem is these days people live far too bloody long. Three score years and ten. That's your lot. Don't overstay your welcome. It's not natural. There's only so much life to go round, isn't there? For each and every one of you overdue bastards, there's some poor sod in his forties who's going to drop dead early. No offence, Terry. None taken. Yeah, where's a cold snap when you need one? <laughs> About it. I do forget to see the funny side in that side. And I hope you'll still be laughing when there's no money left to pay you your wages. You never have paid me any wages. I'd leave at once, but I've got so much invested in this place. Now, Steve, make yourself useful. Take that sign down. Yes, girl. Right away, girl. Yes. This looks like the place. Mother! Quick, get rid of this. Okay. <laughs> Algernon, is that you? Uh, Algernon? <laughs> Mother, uh, Grandmama, Grandpapa, well, what a pleasant Don't surprise. give me that. What are you doing here? I've told you never to come into places like this. W yes, but, but... Where but... does alcohol come from? The devil's winky. <laughs> the devil's very winky, my boy. I wasn't drinking. I had just popped in to use the lavatory, but this gentleman said that the toilets are the patron's use only, and so I'm just going. No, no, Prof, you can use uh, the toilet. No, 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 Governor. <laughs> um, stranger, um, <clears throat> I have no desire to stay in this den of iniquity for a moment longer. I? What are you doing here, anyway? Never mind all that. Go to your room at once. Oh. <laughs> that humorous sign's doing wonders for business. No. Three large gins and tonics, please. Ah, I thought alcohol came from the devil's... Whatchamacallit? Do you want a smack as well? No! Well, hurry up, then. Yes, ma'am, at once, ma'am. Gin it! I'd like a slow, comfortable screw, please, barkeep. I'm sorry, love. The only cocktails we do in here is snake bite. Who said I wanted a cocktail? Ah! Right! <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm terrible. <laughs> Stops play, so I've walked on a set of Michael Jackson's thriller. Greg Thompson, what an unexpected plaisir. There's more wrinklies in here than down the post office on Pensions Day. What'd you do? Tempt them in for a little trailer biscuits. Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh, everybody, at Mr. Thompson's witticism. <laughs> <laughs> you right there, my little puff pastry? You still here? I admire your staying power, darling. <gasps> oh, look, my tits! That's where I left them. <laughs> Yeah, good one. You must be gutted. This place is doing better business than yours. Well, actually, this is the kind of customer I can do without. You see, I don't have wiped down seats in my gaff, if you get my drink. Hello, Anson. I don't you piss off, Grandma. <laughs> I bet you can't believe your eyes, eh, Greg? My gaff. A success. No, actually, Slops, I can believe it. I mean, everywhere's gonna be a success if you're giving out free drinks, eh, son? No, no, I admire you for that, Slops. Giving something back to the old folk, even though you've got so little to give. In every sense, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me there, Greg. So that's why I borrowed one of the bar steward's minibuses for the poor and or nutty kiddies and shot down a local old folks' home. Oh, no! That's right, girls, bring them in. Lovely jabbly. Come on, folks, in your own time. Free drinks, all on slops. <laughs> you met my new kitchen hands? 
This is Annabella and this is Daniela. No, I'm Annabella, Greg. And I'm Daniela. Oh, yeah? Who gives a fuck, eh? <laughs> Don't look at a name tag when you're removing the knickers, eh? Oh, Greg, you're awful. Yeah, I know. Those are the women I'm going to marry. <laughs> anyway, Slots, we've got to be on our way. The girls are trained on a job, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Later on, I'll be teaching them how to make a sandwich. <laughs> Jammy bastard. He gets the girls with dinner thrown in. <laughs> it's all right. You'll get through this. <laughs> can't eat target. <laughs> oh, can't eat target. Why is there the same with me? Time plays cruel tricks on us all. <laughs> Don't talk to me in here like this. It's not normal. No, I was never confused. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm too terrible. <laughs> Get your coat, Steve, are you fool? <laughs> Get away from me, you naughty old lady. <laughs> oh, sorry. I hope I'm not encroaching on your territory. Oh, no, I wish you were. Good on you. I hope when I'm your age, I've still got as much juice left in my papaya. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Steve? You were in there. Terry, that's disgusting. She's old enough to be my grandmother's nanny. <laughs> Don't knock it till you tried it, mate. <laughs> a mouth's a mouth. I'm not listening, I'm not listening, I'm not listening, I'm not listening. Open your mind, Stephen. Look at the choice. It's a regular borg. There's morgue of Totty in here. <laughs> I'm bound to pull. Terry, there isn't a woman in here under 80. To me, a woman's like a cheese. They get better the more they mature. Good on you, Terry. But they're not really worth sampling until the blue veins start showing for them. <laughs> you purboy. That's sick. No, you're the sick one, chummy. Getting older doesn't mean you don't want a bit of as your farmer. Isn't that right, love? Oh, no. Youngsters nowadays seem to think that when you reach 39, your genitals retract back up into your body and seize up. <laughs> but that isn't so, is it, Eric? Uh, well, uh, uh, a little, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but once you get the old engine running, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's I've got my eye on that one. That is the woman I'm going to marry. That is the prof's mum. I don't care. He can never remember my name. It'll make it easier for him if he has to call me Dad. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Are you after a smack? Now you're talking my language. <laughs> you sons! That sign was a joke! It was a joke! You're gonna ruin me! Come on, haven't you got old people's homes to go to? <laughs> You've had your fun. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> Accompanied by both parents. Oh. Stephen Crosby, I thought I told you to take that sign down. It's all right. I'll do it. Uncle Barry, what are you doing here? Hello there, Gov. It's a great shindy. We all appreciate it. It's a lovely gesture. I told you, no bloody singing! <laughs> Come on, you evil bastards! Who was it that said only the good die young? Because they were right in the bloody button! <laughs> Makes you wonder what Mother Teresa was secretly up to all that time. You hear that? If you're naughty, you get to live longer. Why don't you come round man and we can prolong our lives? Hardly seems worth it for an extra 20 seconds. <laughs> Nice one! <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it. I can't get it down, Gov. Not often you hear a man say that. <laughs> oh, this drink's making me a bit tiddly. A man could take advantage of me. Ah, no, I couldn't. Still, it's been a year. <laughs> no! Here, love, I wouldn't mind. No, oh, thanks. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> We're out of vodka as well, Gov. Oh, Jesus, don't they know that sign was a joke? It was a bloody joke. <laughs> Dear God, 
Sorry, me again. <laughs> um, look, I know, O oh Lord, that one does not reach one's time until it is written in the great book of life. But look, I've got a job lot in here for you, mate. Come on. <laughs> You're gonna bloody ruin me. Take them off my hands, please. Please, God. Just this once, mate. Just this once. Actually, bloody do something. Please. Please, anything, anything. <laughs> oh, and uh, any time you like with that carvery. Right? <laughs> Jenny. Hey, have you seen this place? We showed him good, didn't we? <laughs> Thanks, girl. Oh, no whacking fires, mate. The great Galah deserved it. What did you do? I rang that phone-in radio station. All the old folk listened to it. They've been mentioning it every half hour. <laughs> Come on, you bastards! I'll take you all on! <laughs> I'm going to be bloody ruined. Just like my dear old dad before me. Oh, 1979, he put his entire life savings into a venture called the Drive-In Pub. <laughs> then fashions changed and he was stuffed. Look, I'm giving you a friendly warning, pal. The lady is with me. So back off. That's for her to decide. I have decided. Now leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> fact hunt. No, no, fact hunt. <laughs> fact hunt. It's a trivia machine. Yes, well, I've been waiting for one of your repairmen for ten weeks now. Yes, well, you see, you do that because so far you've been absolute pants. Hello. Hello. This place, Governor, steps back in amazement. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought... <laughs> this is amazing. You know, the Grey Brigade is a market we're very keen to exploit. I must pick your brain and see how you've managed it. Run a few ideas up the flagpole. You can run anything you like up my flagpole. <laughs> Anywho. Barry, is that you? Oh, Mimmons Jackson. What are you doing here? Who's looking after the swan? I I'm just on my way. <laughs> Cow, she's never pulled a pint in her life. Yeah, never pulled a pint in her life. I've had a great night. You're a good lad, really. Well, this is pucker. I'm hey? made up for you. You what? You and Steve and Jane. I'm called Janet. Oh, <laughs> Janet, yes, of course. What is my problem? That you're desperate and not getting it. I was talking about me, not you. <laughs> anyway, the really good news is that now you'll be able to pay me the money you owe the brewery. Uh, no, you don't understand, Ms Jackson. None of these people have paid for their drinks. Oh, come on, Governor. Do I look like I've got gullible written across my forehead? No, no, you don't understand. Look at the sign! <laughs> oh, Crosby! <laughs> That's a disgust. <laughs> Come on, let's let's trash the joint. Oh, come on, darling. Honestly, the moment I saw you, I knew the woman I was gonna marry. Look, I warned you. Any time. <laughs> Look, I hate having to do this in front of a lady, but you've been asking for it. Oh, leave it, Cecil. He's not worth it. Hey. Eh? All right. Him while he's down. <laughs> yes. oh, my hero. How can I ever repay you? Well, uh, I could do with a shag. <laughs> so could I. <laughs> Let's go to your place. Quick, while my parents are not looking. <laughs> come on, darling. I'll take you home. I knew you'd come round. <laughs> Evening, and I've tried everybody else. <laughs> I'm not proud. Don't mind me. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the new sign? <laughs> I 
I don't get it. Neither do I. I like the old son. I can't believe my both parents. <laughs> well, well, well. Look at your face. It's a picture. Are you happy, Grandad? Are you? So what you've done, you brought me to my bloody knees. Oh, dear. What a pity. Never mind. <laughs> Perhaps next time you fancy cheeking your elders and betters, you'll remember that revenge is a dish best served old. Uh, good morning. Um, I wonder, d did anyone see what happened to my mother? She didn't come home last night. <laughs> Most peculiar. That's a grand for the booze. Another grand for the damages. It's coming out your wages, Steve. Of course. And there's still that grand I owe bloody Ms Jackson. Don't forget our wages. Mm. No, it's no good. I'm going to have to sell up. Excuse me. Oh, not you, bloody Viralin. Sell up! The offer's over. Oh, no, no, no. We were here with our son last night. Yeah, I remember. He's the one that tried to get up with a prof... <laughs> no, nothing, mate, nothing. I'm afraid to say that during the night, he passed away. Oh, dear, what a pity, never mind. I hope you're not after compensation. Oh, no. He had a great time here last night. Yeah, he made the most of it, the scrounger. And when he passed away, he had such a lovely smile on his face. <laughs> I bet he did the oversex octogenarian toss pot. <laughs> so, on his deathbed, he altered his will and left his life savings to you. He was a great man. <laughs> and one that will be sadly missed. So, how much of the life savings, eh? Uh, Four thousand pounds. Four thousand pounds? His whole life, his whole amount to 80 years? <laughs> what the bloody hell is he doing with his time? He was a pub landlord. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm filling up. <laughs> oh, at last, for once in my life, I'm up! I'm up! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> in target! <laughs> Lots of money! I suppose we couldn't trouble you for a couple more large G&Ts, could we? Of course you could. Yes, please. Damn it. <laughs> That'll be ten quid, please. <laughs> oh, uh... Sunny day. I told you, no bloody singing. 